Good morning. Welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist. In order to maintain reverence during Mass, please silence your cell phones at this time. Thank you. Welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist. Today is the 25th week in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant is Father Noel, assisted by Deacon Curry. The Mass is being offered for William Bob Steen. Join us in singing our opening hymn, Projected on the Wall, Please Stand. Thank you. 
children of Israel before the Gentiles. For though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Blessed be God who lives forever. So now consider what he has done for you, and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness, and exalt King of Ages. Blessed be God who lives forever. In the land of my exile, I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Blessed be God who lives forever. Bless the Lord, all the church of him, and may all be praised in majesty. Celebrate the days of gladness and give him praise. Blessed be God, the Lord Jesus Christ.
be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, Take nothing for the journey, neither walking stick, nor sack, nor food, nor money, and let nobody take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. And as for those who do not welcome you, when you leave that town, shake the dust from your feet in testimony against them. Then they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. So how is everybody feeling today? Yes, absolutely. And who gives us all the blessings? God gives us all the blessings. And you know what I love? God gave kindergarten the best voices in our school. Because who could I hear above everybody else? Ah, who hands up kindergarten? You're the people who give witness to everybody else. Even those people over there, they were so quiet. Couldn't hear a word. So, but I did. But these were the best. And so thank you for being here around the table of the Lord. In one moment, please. Being around the table of the Lord and being able to listen and to respond when there's those powerful moments when we can say something. Carson, oh, sorry, you wanted to say something. You can what? Oh, you can sing hallelujah. Whoa, okay, Mr. Plaza, we don't need you anymore. Because <laughs> we've got a great singer here. Well, everybody, everybody should sing, everybody should pray as loud as you can in church. Goodbye. So, when times are low past, there's a facility in Tokyo Plaza right now. Wow, how wonderful. I hope you get a nice time and visit to Okeechobee. Good. Wonderful. Okay, so here we are this morning. We all have been blessed with ears to Listen. So who can tell me? I'm going to go all the way back down here. Because maybe the sound system didn't carry down here. Anybody want to tell me anything you heard from God's word this morning? Is that going to be? Anybody listening to God's words? Some of the younger here is that that's fair. Oh, please, Andrew. Good man. You've got the whole message in that one statement. Jesus sent out the men, his friends, his disciples. He sent them out to talk to people, to heal people, to cure people. And so, did they go? Absolutely. How long ago was that? Please listen. What year are we now? All we can think about. So it's over 2,000 years ago that Jesus sent just 12 men out to tell everybody about God. How many of us are in our school? When we have staff and students all together, how many people do you think that is? Please. Well, actually, students, there's 271 students, and there's 39 staff, I think, we have all together. 
So over 300 of us are here. I forgot myself. Me too. And all the people over there. So this, here all of us are. And it all began what we've got to know with 12 people. It's 2,000 plus years ago. So that means they heard the word, they listened to it, they thought about it, and they did what Jesus, and this word is commissioned, or sent them out to do. Like when we do our training again for altar servers, after our four or five practices, then we have a special prayer service called commissioning. So I will send you out to serve masses here around the table of the Lord. But it all began over 2,000 years ago with just 12 people and Jesus because they took seriously what they heard. They were ordinary people. They never went to university. They were all mostly fishermen, tax collector, different kinds of jobs they had. But what did they do that prepared them to go out and tell everybody? Any ideas what they did? Could man have? Were oh, you just stretching? Oh, okay. I'll come back to what I did. Okay, please, okay. They good girl. They listen to Jesus. That's the key to life. They all listen to Jesus, and Jesus speaks to us here in his words. And he gives us the advice that we need to be happy and joyful and to bring happiness to other people. That's what Jesus hopes we'll do, is listen and bring the messages to all the really else that God loves them, and God wants people to be happy and know that they are forgiven. And to heal them, now when we think of demons, let's go to, well, oh, what, you can say something about demons, brother? Oh, good girl. Yeah, demons don't believe in God's word. They don't listen. Wow. Demons represent evil and we shouldn't listen to what they say. So temptations are like little demons that try to speak to us and tempt us to do bad things, to make bad Oh, good girl, wow, the wisdom. Like the story, you said it exactly, Adam and Eve. The demon came in the form of a serpent to tempt them to do something they shouldn't. Good girl, you're listening to the Old Testament, and we always listen to the New Testament. Tyler, you want to say something? The same thing, it was great wisdom in second grade. Are you all making first communion this year? That's why you know so much. How wonderful. Please, it. A little bit about it, please. Oh, good girl. There may be demons, but we must never forget there's all these angels that God sends us. Absolutely. So we should never be afraid. We must always remember that more powerful and stronger than any kind of a demon whether it's a demon in Harry Potter books or in the other demons, none of them are more powerful than God. God, exactly. There was once upon a time in our school when you were little children and you used to be just like those children up there. Just like that, you come out with the answer. So forget about the people around you and just Jump out of the response as quick as possible. So remember, they are witnessing to you. You can witness to them. So always listen to God's word. When the temptations come, say, I'm not giving in to this little demon.
Stephen, this political temptation. I'm going to choose what God wants me to do. So Jesus sent them out to heal people. Because sometimes maybe your friends or people you know about that have given in to lots of temptations, made lots of bad choices, and now because of that they feel very bad about themselves. And they think that they can't choose good. But it's never too late to turn around and come back to God and say, I'm sorry, that's why the pandemic is over. We have a little room over there where we go to confession to get rid of the things that we've allowed to tempt us, that we give into, and then we receive forgiveness from God. It's like pressing the delete button on our computer screen and it all disappears. And then we start off anew or afresh. Here you are going to say something. Just what I said. Good. So we're on the same page, you and me. Wonderful. So today the message is, Jesus needs us, his disciples, today as much as he needed those 12 men. So that we should be friends to everybody, teaching them all about God's word. And that I can do all things because of Jesus' love for me and Jesus always with me. And I must never be afraid of demons' temptations because I can say no and I won't give in because Jesus is with me to strengthen me. Elizabeth. Absolutely. Call on Jesus' name in that moment and he will help you and guide you. Now we're going to ask God, our Father, to listen to all our prayers. Let us stand. Reliant on God's mercy and his love for each one of us, we now bring these our prayers before our loving Father. For the church and its work to continue the mission of the Twelve, may God strengthen her as she proclaims the gospel throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who work, who work to uphold justice, may the Holy Spirit imbue them with the gifts of understanding and knowledge. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord be your For those who struggle to forgive themselves, may God's abundant presence be with them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord be your For this faith community, may God strengthen the gospel message. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our For those who have died, especially William Bobby, may God's infinite love welcome them into his eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Almighty and ever-living God, listen to our prayers that we have placed before you this morning as we ask them all through our friend, Jesus, your Son, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Please be seated. Please join in our presentation song, 10,000 Reasons.
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. For a moment we pray for the people we've known who have died. And all who died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should share from my word. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life.
you'd like to pray with me, please, our vocation prayer. Lord, help me to become the person you created me to be. More considerate towards others. More honest with myself. More faithful to you. Make me generous enough to want sincerely to do your will, whatever it may be. Help me to find my vocation in life and grant that through it I may find happiness myself and bring happiness to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us stand and pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with the sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. And so I'd like to thank very especially Miss Snar Dolan and all the fourth graders. Did they do a wonderful job today? <laughs> Absolutely. Well done, everybody. Just like I was saying in the Gospel, how Jesus commissioned them to go out and to tell everybody the good news, the Word of God. That's what you did, especially all of you who did the first reading, the psalm, and all the prayers, you were doing what those first disciples of Jesus did. So may we always be open and willing to serve Jesus and to bring the good news message to everybody. Mr. Plaza, I know you're looking for canters. Carson, didn't you say you could sing the Alleluia? So, can I tell Mr. Plaza that one day you'd like to go up there to the microphone and stand and sing? Would you want to walk up and see what it feels like? Good man, come right up and see. And then you'll know what it will be like. Mr. Plaza will put the chair beside the microphone. You can stand up in the chair. And then you can see you'll reach. Stand up in the chair person. Good man. Jump up in the chair. It's okay. I'm giving you permission to put your shoes on. Absolutely. Stand right up with the mic. Yeah. I know it wouldn't be wonderful up there singing one day, so let's hope. That, would you sing Carson someday? Okay, thank you so much. Come right back down to your grave. Well, so let's give a big round of Vocation chalice. 
Yeah, because but we need a priest like me to celebrate Mass. And so we know that God is inviting every one of us to a special vocation. Some of the vocations may be as priests or sisters. And so our hope is that we always say yes. So now I'm going to ask our fourth graders to pass it on to third grade. Oh, is it eight? Yeah, oh, no, okay. That's okay. Well, I see a three, but okay, eighth grade. Wonderful. So we thank you for all your prayers. Appreciate it. And pass it on, Ashley and Jim. Okay. Thank you. We look forward to lots of prayers in your grade, and then you'll we'll pass it on next week to another class. Thank you both. Let's thank everybody. <laughs> And then we're going to be seated for one quick moment, very quickly, and then I'm going to finish with the blessing. Last weekend, I was telling the slam on Sunday and on Monday morning, and again yesterday, telling her how happy I was and Sister Anita and Sister Martina. We were so happy on Sunday because we saw so many children helping here at Mass. Ms. Frantello, the 5.30, we saw as well. Even 5.30, it's 4 o'clock on Saturday, 7 a.m. on Sunday. And I think, Jackson, were you here at 7 o'clock, was it, on Sunday? Jackson, where are you? Was it 7 o'clock? Yeah, he was here back on before, almost 6.30. He was here, helping, assisting, greeting people at the door. So can I ask the people who were here at Masses that helped out at the weekend, whether it was an altar server, a greeter, and some of you read as well at the weekend. Yep. Stand up all those who helped us at Masses at the weekend. So look at all the people that were here helping. Let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> and so we look forward to even seeing more of you at church on Sunday. Of course, if you go to a different church on a Sunday, offer to help your priests there as well, because we are always happy to have people helping us in all the different ministries. Let us stand. The Lord be with all of you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying God, by telling the good news to all whom we meet. Thank you, God, and have a wonderful day. Please join in our special song, sent forth by God.